time was the best thing that happened because while I was in there, I ended up meeting a real ass dude and a real homie who was in a very similar situation, right? <laughs> and now we get to make some moves together, right? You know, she does this in the middle of A, me having a heart attack, B, finding out that I have kidney disease, C, only child taking care of my father, doing the best I can to take care of my family, right? I have one of my best friends who just passed away. I have another funeral for my aunt this weekend, and she knows all of this, right? She knows all of this. No, she doesn't have a restraining order. She has an order of protection, right? Uh, just saying that I'm not allowed to go to the in, into the residence, right? Yeah, I can move into Heather's tent. Shorty, are you nuts? Have you, look, you clearly follow me, right? So you've seen that we went from a garden apartment to a penthouse to a luxury apartment to this loft. You won't catch me in a tent unless I'm glamping. That's it, period. Knock it off. Would you? Please. Uh, it's genetic. Uh, long story short, there were some elevated enzymes. Uh, my father has it as well. No. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Look, I'll be honest. Uh, stop embarrassing myself. I was on love after lockup. It gets no lower. <laughs> like, I'm good. But here. Uh, let me get off here and post you guys some crazy, crazy, crazy receipts. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm sure the drugs didn't help your heart. You're a clown. You know what? Um, do, doing drugs probably did not. However, when I went, and I, I'll hear, I'll, I'll give you a screenshot of my medical records, right? There's no drugs in my system when I went to go get, to when I went for the heart attack. Get some sleep. It's a little tricky when... You have this girl calling the police on you, getting you locked up and not being able to be in your crib, right? Sorry. Oops. <laughs> yeah, of course you don't need to see my medical records. You think I'm going to lie about having kidney disease or having a heart attack? <laughs> For what? The only person who makes so crazy shit like that is Marissa and Heather. Jesus. And that girl, and that girl, and that girl, Yana, who runs the exposed Dylan page, <laughs> right? Hey, I pre just, you know, I appreciate all your prayers and I appreciate the positive encouragement because like, really, you know, there's a lot of hate and I totally understand because I've done things that aren't right. You know, I regret them. I feel bad at the end of the day. I can't even say that I hate this girl cannot even say it right still have love for her even after all this bullshit right no, uh, what's the truth behind that page the truth behind that page is this uh that girl yana is friends with my ex jordan right and the two of them uh jordan had gotten out of rehab uh like start getting money doing only fans and like do, they're getting high doing liquid g all this shit and then the girl says that i tried to date rape her all right excuse me uh any of my exes i promise right and i'm talking about from like 15 on will tell you that i'm not the date rape type of guy all right any of my female friends and there's plenty of them right they'll tell you i'm not the date rape type of guy not me okay marissa hangs out with a bunch of them but not me all right so the girl was mad because she felt like she deserved a car a crib like to be taken care of because she was hanging out with Jordan, right? And Crystal Meth is a motherfucker. So she got strung out, put all that shit up there, <laughs> and that's that. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, don't even give it attention. No, oh, I don't have to, dis to DR. Is that disrespect? Oh, no, day rape. Oh, no, yeah. I definitely don't have to date rape girls. No, not at all. Uh, I'm nice, caring. I think I'm kind of funny, kind of cute, a little bit. And, you know. <laughs> how how do I afford all this luxury stuff? Uh, one, 
I have a job. Two, uh, I have a family who loves and supports me. Three, not all of it is luxury stuff. Like, uh, I'm not going to cap with you. I rock a lot of real shit, but I do I do rock some duplicate, uh, replica knockoff shit too. If you want, I could drop some, I could drop some links, <laughs> but I'm not going to cap with you a lot, you know, uh, but most of it's real. Some of it's not. Make sure my mom likes my next chick. I definitely, I definitely will, you know, uh, any girl that I bring home to mom, uh, she def she definitely likes. And, you know, there's definitely a couple that I brought home to mom that, you know, maybe I wish I didn't get, didn't give up because, uh. This shit clearly ain't it. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah, my, my mom, look, just like me, right? After all this, right? Because I'm her only son. <laughs> I'm her only son, right? So how do you think my mom feels when this girl who she loves and has known since she's been 18, right? Is going back and forth for her son like this, right? She hates it. She hates that, but she doesn't hate Marissa. She still has love for Marissa, right? And my mom also supports any choice that I make, right? So if I chose to be with Marissa or anybody else, she'd support it. Like right now, somebody just jumped on this live right now, right? And beautiful, smart, one of the sweetest girls I've known in my entire life, right? And I'm not going to say no names, but uh, yeah, she, she knows. I'm not the date rate, date rate type of guy, right? I'm not, a, I'm not a bad guy, right? Known her for 10, 15 years, never done anything bad to her in my life. Just saw the mug shot. Hey, want to know something hilarious? Look, this is how embarrassing this shit is, okay? Check this out. So, <laughs> Marissa has me arrested bogus, right? Uh, the police come, right? Now, first off, there's this police officer that Marissa, like, texts back and forth, okay? He's come to my crib twice to try and arrest me. Right. He has banged on my door for two hours. I'll post a video. Right. Like I'm in the crib with Marissa and this thing is just banging on the door saying that there's a fugitive task force outside my house. A fugitive of what? Stop it. The only thing I'm trying to flee is a toxic relationship. Right. So look, uh, the dude texts me. Right. The dude calls me saying, uh, Dylan Smith, this is officer so and so. And just so you know, the police are on your their way to where you are right now. Bruh, that sounds real professional, right? Now look, I get booked, okay? And I go to, oh, I can't remember what police station it is first, right? But it's wherever they hold you uh, until they take you to the county, okay? <laughs> and yeah, highly, internal affairs, anyone? Yeah, p wait, personal threats, uh, harassment constantly? Yeah, not cool, right? But uh, that's okay. If anybody knows a lawyer, let me know. Uh, but look, I get to the station, right? And it just so happens that like a bunch of people, a bunch of people in uh, like law enforcement and healthcare are love after lockup fans. Like, I don't know why. It's like if you wear a badge or if you save people's lives, you watch love after lockup. I swear to God, right? So... <laughs> I get to the police station, right? And as I walk in, they're like, Oh, wait, Dylan. Oh, man, come on again. What? It's, what she what, what she do now? Was it her or was it you? Right? Like, literally, <laughs> literally, as I'm getting fingerprints, so we're like talking, catching up, because unfortunately, I spent hours with these people in lockup because this girl has me locked up all the time, right? I'm like, hey, can you guys do me a favor? Can you go on YouTube and see if they posted anything crazy yet? They're like, we don't even need to go on YouTube. We get all the crazy stuff firsthand. You come to us first. <laughs> but like, honestly, like the only, the only, uh, 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 like celebrity perk that I've gotten out of this show is extra bologna sandwiches when Marissa gets me locked up. That's it. <laughs> all right, come on. Uh, no, yeah, I can't turn up at Underground, right? Uh, Marissa works there. But uh, anywhere else, yeah, let's go. This is oh, so nefarious. Uh, I don't see you looking inward ever. Ah, uh, you don't see me looking inward ever because my Instagram profile does not 
uh, represent my personality. Unfortunately, all you guys ever get of my real personality are a couple, like, uh, rants and lives when I'm in a desperate situation or going through PTSD or, hey, maybe have been doing some shit that I'm not supposed to do and, you know, not necessarily thinking clearly. But uh, I promise you, I do a lot of self-reflection. You sit down for five years in a box and I promise you're going to do a little bit of personal development and a lot of growing in the next phase in my life is going to be just like that, right? Because leaving this relationship means that this will be the first time that I've been single, right? The first time I've been single since I've been home from prison in 2019. So I've never had that before, you know, like me and Marissa broke up, you know, and she was you know, doing her thing, whatever. But uh, unfortunately, I definitely have some issues when it comes to being alone. It's what it is. Right. So I use those relationships as like not like a crutch, but it's just I don't like to sleep alone, you know. And uh, that's a problem, but that's something that's fixed in solitude, you know. Uh, masterwork occurs in isolation, right? So I'm gonna resolve this little thing, get on monk mode, and uh, honestly, probably fall back for a little while. But when I do pop back up, you guys will see me in a much better place. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I'm actually, I'm actually in therapy already. <laughs> you can't tell, <laughs> but yeah, I'm in therapy already. And listen, hey, just so you know, uh, yeah, go to build, go to build a bear. What instead of instead of build a babe? Because I've been doing that for years. <laughs> hey, listen, I appreciate all the positivity. I swear to God, how can we make twelve thousand? Uh, I mean. Want to sell some solar panels? I don't know. Dude. Oh, actually, yes, yes, yes. Wait, you can make $12,000 over the course of a year, right? Over the course of a, of a year, maybe a little longer, right? It actually might have been since the beginning of the start of the profile. That's from Marissa's OnlyFans. That's what the earnings are, right? And she's running an OnlyFans management agency trying to convince people to manage their OnlyFans for 45% of the profit when she doesn't even make money on there. That's like hiring an overweight personal trainer. Dude, come on, knock it off. Please. Like, it's great to have, you know, uh, creatives and collaborate with, you know, your friends. But, like, when it comes down to the money, all right, have a professional manage your shit, all right? Have a professional. Because whatever this is, support her in anything that she does, whether it's an event, whether it's a business venture, whatever it is, because that's my girl. I'm going to be there and I'm going to stand up, right? Oh, wait, you need you need just somebody to pop in and model for you, rep something for you, like, you know? Uh, got you, no matter what it is. Well, she's going to have to get a passport first because she doesn't have one of those. But, yeah, I think she said she's going to Paris or something. I don't know. Really, I don't care. Ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, uh, right, I'm going to be right here because I can't leave the state until the, uh, yeah, uh, whoever, uh, huh. Uh, whoever said get into trading, right? Hey, DM me, DM me, shorty, please, if you could. Because if you know anything about it, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely interested. And I appreciate, like, all the support, for real, for real. Hey, listen, if you see, hey, if you see through all the bullshit, which means you see bullshit, do me a favor. Go watch another live, <laughs> all right? Go watch another live. Because if you don't want to hear what I'm saying, then you're only here because I'm handsome. And then that way, you can just go on my page, scroll, and like. Like, get off my live. <laughs> Collaborating, you're right. Do I have only fans? Yeah. Get it, nephew. Proud of you. Deserve it. Yup. Thank you. Love, love, love. I would love to just enjoy some time with you. Need to come to Austria. Uh, let me get a pat. Let me get a passport, and we'll talk about it. All right. Never been there. Would love to. 
Am I not at all? I'm, what do you mean? Am I, am I not heartbroken? Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm absolutely destroyed. I'm losing my best friend, the person that I love like the most in the world. Not only am I losing them, my girl and my best friend, but it's not just losing them. They're like an ah, they're an enemy, right? If just now, look, this may be toxic. We've both done it to each other a million times, right? But to go through her phone, which I know is bogus, right? To go through phone and just look at the way that she represents me and talks to me, talks about me, to not only her friend. or dudes that she's talking to it's just like so disrespectful it's so hurtful and you know it just it sucks because it's like you know <clears throat> this is the first time right in life where you know if me and marissa split it's not like i got like hoes on deck right and do you know what that means that means i was trying okay that means i was making a change right and she's not on the same page Marissa got hoes. Marissa got hoes on deck right now. That's why she in a couple dollars, and that's why she acting up. Not from OnlyFans though. He also sold his cousin frosty drugs, and he died from them. Yep, definitely not true. And I don't have a cousin named Frosty. So next, play the game, make some money. That was like that. Another name. That's you belong together. Yup. Keep your head up, brother. Hey, appreciate you, G. I'm tr oh, I'm trying for the wrong one. Yes, yes, no, definitely, definitely. Because here's the thing. Look, if you're a team, right? I'm not saying that you did kill a girl in Glencoe. Oh, uh, who? Jessica Savin, who was one of my best friends, right? Did I kill her, or were we hanging out at my da at my dad's house, where we would hang out all the time, right? Every weekend, and she fell through a skylight on the loft that's attached and had nothing to do with me nothing to do with my dad nothing to do with anything oh and then i had to see my best friend's crumpled body on the ground at the age of like 16. that girl that i killed because she fell through a skylight on accident that one please somebody <laughs> look do me a favor okay fact check fact check no, I didn't. It's not that I didn't want to call the police. Did call the police. Was 16 years old. Everybody didn't know what to do. And we didn't even know that she was dead until my dad came back and I shined the flashlight down there and saw her body, right? My dad, we called the police immediately. It was like maybe like 20 minutes. I don't remember. There's, hey, that shit's all on, that shit's all online too. But I do know this, right? I do know this. Uh, after, even though I wasn't invited to the funeral, <laughs> right? Uh, how'd the glass break? Um, uh, clearly some sort type of code violation, right, on the building next door. When's the police coming through? I called 911. They said they couldn't give me an ETA. So I'm just out here posted up on the block waiting. And for, and for any of the, <laughs> I don't even want to call them ops because, like, I'm not, like, against anybody. But, like, for anybody who, like, has some type of weird problem with me, literally just out here being peaceful, happy new year, new year, new us. Yeah, put myself before these weak-ass females, for real. Look, uh, if you was trying to, like, get money and then stay in the house, maybe go have on a baby, holla at me. Yeah, I'm in Chicago. If you think I'm a stand-up dude, you're blind. Mm. Uh, well, tell me if you could feel what I'm saying. And I'm not talking about Braille. Uh, it seems to me that you really don't know shit about shit. So, like I said, get off my life. If you don't support me, right, or you're not a positive person, I don't have room for you in my life or in my in my life. Bye. <laughs> like, what are you watching for? 
Yeah. Uh. That's not Jordan's. That's not Jordan's Audi. All right. Uh, we were we were we were co-purchasers. Want me to show you a picture of the title? Like she got out. Was broke, homeless, and doing whatever she had to do. Like, I'm pretty sure she, like, has her son back, is, like, back with her baby daddy, who just got out, you know? So, like, they're, like, doing good. Like, everybody, you know? Look, I guess what? I promise, it def me talking definitely doesn't hurt me. Right? What? Here's what's gonna happen. Look. He's high on meth. He hit that chick. He called the police. Look, like, on some... Fuck it. Go ahead and take the mic home with you. On some eight mile shit. Like, tell me something that we haven't heard before, please. Communication is the number one thing that will kill a relationship. If there is no relationship, there is no community. If there's no communication, there's no relationship. Yes, communication is the relationship. If you haven't, I believe that's ex no. The book is fierce conversation. I believe. All right, I, but the book's fierce conversation. But communication is the relationship. So as soon as that communication stops, right? As soon as she went ghost and silent, and every time she does, I know there's some bullshit that's about to pop off. Look and check. So here, I'll explain, okay? Uh, Three-story industrial warehouse, right? She fell through a skylight where there was construction and she went right through the glass because there was no reinforcement. All right, hold on. What was the question? Where was this? So we, I ran downstairs to my dad's apartment or to his loft. He had a big music studio at the time. Uh, one of his girls did like aerial silks or something. So I had an exercise rope. I don't know how many feet tall that was. So I grabbed the exercise rope, grabbed the aerial silks, right? And we tied it together because we didn't know that she was like passed away at the time. And we were going to lower ourselves down, okay, into where she fell to go save her and make sure she was okay because we didn't know that she had passed because we couldn't see, right? Imagine middle of the night, you're on a roof on goose island there's no a light outside no street lights you're above those you're looking down into pitch black all right and there's noise in there so we think we hear her like she's okay and if you want to come at me right about some traumatic shit from when i was 16 like i did something bogus i'll let you know this right uh her mom forgave me so is this my crib no uh, my crib over here but I can't, I can't, uh, I don't want to be over there until the police get here because Marissa is probably going to do some bullshit if I do. So then you took the phones, the phones. So look, uh, no, I'm not gonna keep the, the, the. This is the only apartment where my name hasn't been on.